The complement system consists of a group of over 30 serum proteins that play an important role in both innate and adaptive immunity. Complement proteins participate in host defense processes such as inflammation, attraction of phagocytes to an infected area, enhanced effectiveness of phagocytes, and lysis of cells. Complement proteins are activated by a cascading mechanism. There are three pathways of complement activation, the classical pathway, the alternative pathway, and the lectin pathway. The classical and alternative pathways are demonstrated in this animation. The classical pathway requires interaction of antibodies with an antigen, usually on a cell surface. Following binding of antibodies to cell surface antigens, C1, which is composed of three proteins, R, Q, and S, attaches to the constant region, FC, of adjacent antibodies through its C1Q subunit. C1S then acts on C2, cleaving it into C2A and C2B. Then C1S cleaves C4 into C4A and C4B. C2B and C4B bind to the cell near the antigen-antibody complement complex, and C2A and C4A are released. This complex of C4B and C2B, called C3 convertase, has protease activity and cleaves C3 into C3A and C3B. C3B becomes bound to the cell surface, whereas C3A is released. C3B then absorbs to C4B2B to form C4B2B3B. This structure is called C5 convertase. The alternative pathway does not require the presence of antibodies. Activation begins with cleavage of C3 into C3A and C3B, either spontaneously or by a blood protein. C3B binds to foreign substances. Factor B, a blood protein, attaches to C3B and is cleaved into two fragments, BA and BB, by factor D, forming C3BBB, analogous to C4B2B. Both structures, C4B2B and C3BBB, are called C3 convertase. C3 convertase rapidly cleaves more C3 into C3A and C3B. C3 convertase is further stabilized by propardine, which allows another addition of C3B, forming C5 convertase.